Cartoon recaps here. Today I will be recapping the animation movie called, Next Gen, Spoilers Ahead, Relax and Enjoy. The movie begins with a girl called, Mai who stays with her mother in Grainland. Her father abandoned them when she was little, and now her mother started to cope with the separation by starting to rely on robots, making Mei feel left out, which turns her to a rebellious teenager, who hate robots unlike the rest of the citizens. Mei lives in a futuristic world where highly intelligent and advanced robots live together with people. All of this was possible by the help of a scientist called, Justin Pin, who invented all the robots with the motive of making lives for the humans much easier. Mai and her mom are on their way to attend a product launch at the IQ Robotics headquarters, where the CEO is about to unleash a new invention on his robots. But Mei wasn't interested in attending because she despises robots. Annoyed on how her mother wasn't paying attention to her because of a robot, decides to live the queue and check out a new stadium as she is passionate about football. She spots a robot and climbs on it so she can get a better view on the football stadium. But as the small robot wasn't able to hold her much longer, she falls to the ground. Immediately, security robots arrives to take her away as children must always be with their parents. Before the security is able to get hold of her to take her back to her mother, Mai manages to make her escape through a robot transportation tunnel, and ends up falling into the secret lab of Dr. Tanner Rice, who has been manufacturing an attack robot known as 77. Mai goes to take a look at the robot and mistakenly ends up activating it. The robot seems to be highly intelligent with the capability to understand human emotions. Suddenly, Mai gets captured by the security and is being taken back to her mother. Here we see the CEO of IQ Robotics, who appears in front of the crowd where Mai and her mother was, and is about to launch his new robot invention. CEO Justin finally unveils his new invention to the people called, the new Gen 6. He explains that this robot can literally do everything they want them to do, making everyone so super excited apart from Mai. But nobody knew that CEO Justin has a secret bad intentions on his own as he has truly designed the robots for exploding. He is currently assisted by his worker Tanner Rice, who knows of his evil intentions and he is secretly building a robot to stop the CEO Justin evil plans. Later on, Tanner discovers that his secret robot is nowhere to be found. He is so scared that CEO Justin might find out about it. Meanwhile, his robot called 77 is looking for Mai. He wants to return her bag she left in hopes of befriending her. While following Mai, the police sees the 77 on the highway and started to chase after him. Another to avoid the police, 77 tries to escape using its speed, but as the police started to get brutal in the chase, 77 consciously activated his weapon system which finishes off the police robots attacking him. His priority was just to return Mai's bag. Unfortunately, the police robot starts to increase in number and begin to respond more violently by launching missiles on 77, causing it to fall on the lowest level of the city. As 77 gets back up, he discovers that he has mistakenly destroyed his memory core, which means once his memory is full, he will have no choice but delete some in other to make new memories. Mai is at school and immediately the session for today was over, Mai goes outside the school to play football alone. Suddenly, she is interrupted by a bunch of girls led by a girl called Greenwood, who mocks her and bullies her, by instructing her robots to beat her up. Mai returns back home and her mother sees the injury she obtained from the beating. But she lacks the ability to understand her daughter's pain. Both of them has been feeling kind of disconnected after her dad left. Few moments later, Mei goes outside to play with her dog Momo. She sees 77 playing with her dog Momo. Mai is so shocked to see the robot again, and yells at him to leave her house due to she despises robots. Out of nowhere, my robot toothbrush runs towards her, and tries to force her to brush her teeth before she goes to bed. 77 sees the robot as a threat and blasts her annoying robot toothbrush to pieces. Maya is so impressed by what she just saw, asks him what that was. 77 replies saying it's a phased plasma rifle. After witnessing 77 weapon system, Mai changes her mind and decides to hide him in her outhouse. 77 discovers that almost half of his storage memory is filled up, and he only has few hours of memory left. So he started to delete his old memories, so he can save space for the new ones. He deleted his memory of playing with Mai's dog and after doing that, he manages to increase his memory storage by three hours. Later on at the robotics headquarters, CEO Justin calls in Dr. Tanner to question him about the incident on the highway caused by 77. CEO Justin threatens Dr. Tanner not to do any side projects anymore, but instead focus on his project as he wants his new robot invention to be sent to everyone house. He shows Tanner his plans by using his new robot invention and demonstrating how he intends to use robots to destroy people. 
next day, Mike goes back to the football field with 77 in an attempt to get her revenge on the bullies. The bullies still didn't take her seriously until 77 catches one of their attacking robot, and uses his weapon system to blast the robot to pieces, which manages to scare the bullies away. For the first time ever, she likes a robot as she runs to 77, appreciating him for having her back. For the next following days, Maya and 77 started to spend more time together, going against the laws, and destroying robots together. They both then formed a kind of relationship, which then transcends into friendship. But sadly there is upsetting truth 77 doesn't want to tell Mai, which is every moment they spent time together, he has to decide and choose a memory to delete. But as more days started to pass them by, 77 started to have a difficult time to choose a memory to delete. Because all the memories he has now is filled with the great time and moments he's spending with his friend, Mai. Meanwhile CEO Justin is called for an interview concerning the recent robot violence in the city, but he lies about the robot not being part of his company. The crowd is deceived by the lies the CEO is telling them and claps for him. Later that evening, Mai discovers that 77 has already forgotten who her dog is and asks him if he is alright. But 77 denies saying everything is okay and she should get back to bed because her mom might look for her. But suddenly, he decides to reveal the truth to her. He tells Mai that if he doesn't free some space in his storage, he won't be able to have new memories, which will make his brain to automatically shut down and clear out all his memories, making him forget himself and Mai. He goes on to tell her that he is so scared, because he doesn't want to keep forgetting those exciting memories they have shared together. Mai then decides to help him delete memories to free up space, and choose to delete a part in his memory when she called him stupid robot the first time they met. But 77 doesn't want to delete it because it was their first encounter, telling Mai that it means a lot to him. Mai tells him not to worry, that they will make new ones. 77 is hesitant, but because he trusts Mai, he decided to delete the memory. Mai suddenly remembers when her father abandoned her as a child. Back at the robotics headquarters, CEO Justin captures Dr. Tanner, and is about to end him. Since he went behind his back by building a robot, Tanner manages to convince CEO Justin that he will find the robot and allow him to use it as part of his evil plans. Hearing this, Justin decides let him go and other to bring the robot to him. May sees a student getting bullied by Greenwood and the other bullies and takes a baseball bat in attempt to attack them with 77. She has this pain inside her, and she wants the bullies to know what it feels like to get hurt. But 77 stops her, believing Mai isn't handling the situation in the right way, and Greenwood is just a little kid like her. Mai gets offended by this and runs away, telling 77 that he is just a stupid robot. But later that night, Mai after realizing what she has done, apologizes to 77 and they both reconcile. Dr. Tanner is successfully able to locate Mai's house, and tells Mai that he can fix 77 memory core but he reveals to them that the repercussions is it will clear out all of his memories making him to forget everything. Out of nowhere, CEO Justin arrives at Mai's house and boldly reveals his evil plans to wipe out millions of people using his Q robots. Immediately, Justin instructs his killer robot to kill 77. After a long fight between the opposing robots, Justin manages to capture Mai's mom. As Justin started to shoot at them, 77 manages to get Mai away from the danger. Mai shouts at 77 for not rescuing her mom before Justin captured her, and blames him for not even using his weapon system to protect them. But 77 tells her the sad truth, that he has deleted his weapon system files, in order to clear space for the exciting moments he has shared so far with Mai. Mai insults him the more, blaming him for her mother's capture. She denounces her friendship with him and goes to find her mother, leaving 77 heartbroken. Mai tries to break into the building where her mother is held, and 77 also arrives to help out, and they both ended up working together in defeating the robots attacking them. Immediately after that, Mai painfully shares her feeling with 77 on how she is still hurt concerning how her father abandoned her. But 77 consoles her and tells her that at least she still has a robot that cares for her. Mai reconciles with 77 again, and they both make their way down the building to find her mother. Justin stops them, and reveals to them that he is not actually human, but a robot covered with human flesh. Tanner Bodley tries to convince Justin to stop his evil plans but ended up getting killed. Suddenly, 77 and Justin goes on a one-on-one -on -one combat and in the process, they fall off a window, landing in a football field, where Justin Robot started to attack him. Mai makes her way to the room where her mother is held and as they are both about to escape, Justin stops them. He opens up all his plans to massacre human existence because he sees them as a bunch of stupid fools. But Justin didn't realize in time that Mai has been recording everything he was saying, and everyone was watching and listening to everything Justin was saying to Mai and her mother. 
now the world knows of Justin's evil plans. Outranged, Justin attacked Maya and in the process, she ends up pulling out one of his robotic eyes out. The people who are still watching are so shocked, and couldn't believe their idol is a robot who plans to wipe out human existence. Justin then opens up to the world that humans are selfish, and the only way to make the world a better place is by ending all of humanity. Justin started to activate all the Q robots to explode on the people. Immediately, Justin transfers himself to his killer robot in attempt to kill 77. After a long fight, Justin lasers him out of the stadium. 77 sees my captured and is about to be killed by Justin. And Justin Robots is also about to end humanity. 77 only choice is to wipe out all his memories and other to bring back his weapon system so he can save my and the people. Immediately, 77 turns on his weapon system and manages to rescue Mai who is being thrown down the building by Justin. 77 looks at Mai, as his memories slowly started to wipe out. As 77 is about to die, he looks at Mai one last time and tells her that she is a really good person, and she should not give up on making new memories because she is a kind person with so much to offer. Suddenly, 77 goes to fight to the death with Justin. During the battle all his memories on Mai, keeps going away slowly, until all his memories were wiped out completely and he manages to clash at Justin with full force, which causes an explosion. Mai is so afraid, and runs to look for him in hopes he's still alive, Mai C-77 is already shut down, and cries really bad thinking he's dead. But suddenly Mai unconsciously turns on 77's system, putting a smile on her face as she sees the robot alive again. But as 77 looks at her in confusion, asking who she is, Mai cries in pain realizing that all his memories of her is already gone. She believes she has just lost the only person who was truly there for her. Few days later, Mai decides to start her friendship again from the start with 77. And she's now friends with Greenwood, and other kids that bullied her before. They all play football together, and that was how the movie ended. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel. And keep watching. Bye.